Hi everybody, this is Dave Schultz from the Chaos Group. So in this V-Ray 2.0 quick start video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a simple product design rendering and get beautiful V-Ray renderings quickly and easily. But before we get going, I would like to thank Educational Insights for their permission in using this microscope model. Actually, the entire line of products were designed with both Rhino and V-Ray, and these two applications played a huge role in their continued success. So before we talk about the V-Ray Express toolbar, let's talk about where you can find it. I'm going to jump over to the Cast Group website. You want to log into your account at castgroup.com, go to Downloads, once there, click on V-Ray Express, and then you end up right here where you can download the complete installer package. The great thing about this installer is it's going to include all of the materials, studio environments, lighting, etc. Everything needed for the demo is going to be included in the one installer. All right, let's close the web and kind of focus on this microscope model. Before we begin, let's talk about three parts or requirements of a great rendering. First is the design. So by all means, it needs to be cool looking with cool details. Second is the materials. We'll be using the Express Toolbar here in a minute. And third is lighting. So lighting and contrast with your model can make or break a rendering. Luckily, V-Ray has a full range of lighting types as well as a physical camera to give you the point and shoot simplicity. Before we start any renderings, let's jump over and look at a new feature of 2.0, and that is the presets. So we have the ability to load and save presets, but here is one of my favorite new features, and that's load defaults. So I'm going to click on this button here. Now, all these rollouts, which can be really intimidating, are now populated with the default settings, and we literally can render almost immediately. First, though, I'm going to go ahead and check my quality settings. These are under General. I'm going to select the quickest way to render, and that's Preview. That's the lowest quality. We then accept that by clicking the little green check mark. So what that's done is it's given us some lighting. It's a GI skylight and background, so we have something to look at right away. So the only other thing I might want to do is just check how big the output will be. I'm going to go with 800 by 600. Okay, I've already got a, a view set up here. I'm going to go to my named view, and we're ready to render. I'm going to hit the R button on the V-Ray toolbar. There you go, 2.4 seconds, and already we have something really cool to look at. So remember, this model has no materials, just the environmental lights, and no backdrop. But this image is actually enough information to make decisions on your design. Let's go ahead and close some of these rendering windows and talk about some of the great new features on the V-Ray Express toolbar. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So first off is we have these studio environments. Right now there's nothing in the scene, but I can just click on one of these buttons and I get a built-in environment immediately. Let's try the uh, U studio wall. This gives us walls both sides. Soft disk is kind of interesting. You get a clean looking tabletop with kind of a seamless built into one. I'm going to pick the 180 studio wall. This is one of my favorites. So it gives us a tabletop and also a backdrop built in one with a nice amount of room on the top and back for some cameras and lighting. Let's look at the lighting next. So it looks like we have about seven or eight. I'm just going to click on the first one I see, Studio 7. Here you can see three pretty large rectangular lights up above. Let's try Studio 6. They're a little bit smaller. I'm going to go to the other extreme and click on Softbox for the car studio. Now it looks like nothing's there, but if I zoom out, we actually got some gigantic lights which look amazing for cars. I'm going to kind of settle on Studio 3, zoom back in. So it's a simple little setup. Three lights total. We got two here for the key lights on the open or front side, and on the back is a little bit of a filler rectangular light. Let me zoom back into that last view with my named view, and let's do another quick render and see how these two new additions, of the backdrop and lights, have affected the rendering. So it still should go pretty quick. Okay, we're done. That was only 10 seconds. 
I am noticing this is quite a bit too bright, and that's because we've added a lot of lights to the scene. I'm going to make one quick change here. Under Options, I'm just going to turn off the Skylight, GI, and Background. We've added a bunch of really nice detailed lights here in the scene, so we don't really need those as much. So I'll go ahead and turn those off, and now re-render the exact same view. Okay, we're done. That was another 10 second render, and this is getting better and better, even though we don't have any materials. So let's do those next. I'm going to close some of the render windows, get them out of the way. We're going to go down to the Express Material Toolbar. Now, the way these work, you just select any object, and then we'll come down to one of these buttons. I'm going to try plastic. They're nicely organized with glossy, blurry, and matte, which is kind of like a rubber. And I'm going to select blue. Now, initially, it doesn't look like anything happened. That's because we need to be in rendered mode. So we can see all the colors and a little bit of the lights and environment as well. I'm going to select a few more pieces of geometry. Just to show how easy this can be. Go back to plastic. Maybe this one will be uh, kind of a blurry, not so glossy green. Finally, I'm going to pick this section here. The cylinder is actually clear. So we'll go to the glass section and pick clear plastic. So with those few changes, we'll go ahead and render one more time. Just so we can see some of the progress and also note the difference in rendering time. Okay, we're done. That was uh, only up to 12 seconds. Let's talk about these materials and how we can modify them pretty easily. So for the first few materials we've thrown on there, we've been using the toolbar. And you may be thinking there's only a certain amount of colors. Not a problem. If we go to the material editor, we'll quickly see. Here's the blue plastic. We can make changes extremely simply. I'm just going to click on the color swatch here. And here's where we can maybe dial it back down to more of a purple color. Hit OK. Preview it. And it's already in the scene. I'm going to close all these guys one more time. I'm going to jump ahead just a little bit. I'm going to turn off the uh, single microscope and go to the finished pair. And then zoom back a bit so you can get the full view of the environment. So let's talk about some prep work for the final high quality render. First off, I've got a really good view here. I'm kind of low angle, but the objects fill the scene. Next up, I'm going to check out my exposure. I've noticed that some of these last couple of tests were a little bit on the dark side. So now with our physical camera setting here, we can make quick changes just like a real camera. So now we're at a 30th of a second. I'm going to change that to a 1 15th. That leaves the shutter open longer and it'll be a little bit brighter. Next up, I'm going to change my quality setting to high and then the green check mark. So there's a lot of settings that have already been populated, and this will be a lot higher quality when we get done. Finally, you always want to have your glamour shot a little bit larger, so we'll bump this up to 1280 by 960. That's really all we need to do. I'll start this final rendering, and we'll resume when it's complete. All right, we're back and looking at the final high-quality result, which took me about 10 minutes to render and may take a little bit longer on slower computers. So we've created an extremely high quality rendering in not much time. With the new speed and features in V-Ray 2.0, imagine how fast and cool you can render your design projects. So thanks for joining us, and please make sure to check out our other V-Ray for Rhino videos.